Jackson, your first taste of a professional snooker tournament, and not only, only have you won, but you won 4 3 in a respotted black. Incredible match. How do you feel? Uh, great. Uh, I've had a lot of close matches, but this, this one was obviously a bit different because it's my first professional tournament, and to win it, it was a great feeling because obviously if I lost, I would have been gutted. But uh, when that black went in, I was just. I, just, I didn't really know what I was thinking. Really. It was just great. Um, before that response, like you were faced with a very difficult long pink and you smashed it in. Amazing shot. How did, how did you feel looking at that shot? Uh, when I was, I knew uh, I couldn't see much of the pocket, so I knew it had to be perfect, really. But it was a tougher safety to play, really, than the pot, so I just thought, just go for it, see what happens, the chance of it going safe, just see what happens, and luckily I ran in. And obviously playing here in a big venue in front of quite a big crowd on one of the main tables, how did you kind of deal with that atmosphere and, and, and the pressure out there? The atmosphere was uh, there was a lot a lot of pe- people <laughs> rowing on that towards the end, but especially when that pink went in, so I was like I was just being like saying Shh, be quiet and still haven't won yet, but I'm on the black went in. <sighs> well, I, was, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> And you practice a lot with Mark Williams. You're only 15, but you've already won the World Under-18 Championship. You've obviously been talked about a fair bit as a as a big prospect in snooker. How do you kind of deal with that expectation? Um, well, when I come into this tournament, I think for most people it's just said to me, enjoy it, just experience. Because obviously you're playing against professionals. You're never going to get, like I'd say, an easy game or anything like that. You're never going to get that because they're, they're all professionals. But, uh, yeah, it was when... It was when I came in there. I knew I had. I knew I still knew I had a chance, and uh, I managed to get a win. And what are your ambitions now for this tournament, and also for the next few months? Uh, just play well. Hopefully, go as far as possible. Play as long as I play well. I know I can. Like possibly go all the way. As if I know my game's there. If I, if my game turns up, I know I can. But uh, I know I'll have to be on top form to do that. But uh, it's still a bit young, really. I think. But it could happen, and uh, hopefully it will. <laughs> And have you got more big amateur tournaments coming up? And, and do you intend to play in Q School in May? Uh, yeah, I'll be in I'll be in Q School. Well, that's, that's if well, I upset but first I got the Europeans, like European under 18s, 21s, and the men's in Cyprus, and there's a chance to improve there. So, but if that doesn't uh, go the way I want, really, then I'll go to Q School. Yeah. Well done today, and we look forward to seeing a lot more of you. Thanks.